In a previous video, I showed you how to send emails with Python. You only had to turn on two-step verification on Gmail and use the script we built on that video. That's the foundation to send emails with Python. And some of you had questions like how to attach files to the email or how to connect to a CSV file to send emails to multiple receivers. In this video, we'll see how to do all of that using ChatGPT. In that way, you'll learn how to take your current script to the next level using ChatGPT Code Interpreter. So let's get started. Okay, first we have to upload our current script. So we go to GPT-4 and select Code Interpreter. Then we click on Upload File and we select our, our Python file. So in this case, it's send underscore emails.py and here I have the script that we've seen in the previous video. And by the way, this is gonna be on the description below. So here you can see the foundation to send an email. And well, here I previously did a test to send an email using this Python script and everything was perfect. But this is just very basic. So we now are going to add an attachment and also we're going to connect to a CSV file to send to multiple receivers. So now here I'm going to select send underscore emails.py, which is this file that is going to be in the description below. And then we're going to use the following prompt. So in this prompt, I type the following. I have a Py script that sends email, but it's incomplete. So right now it only sends a plain email. I'll provide the Py file and a task to do. And you have to add more code to the script to carry out the task. And here I write the task. So in this task, I want to send an email with an attachment. Basically, I'm telling ChatGPT, use my Py script and add some extra functionality. So it's gonna add some code to do the task that you want to carry out. In this case is adding an attachment. So here I'm going to press enter and ChatGPT is gonna do all of this. And now it's describing all the steps it needs to follow. And it's asking me to add the file that I want to attach. So here I'm adding this file. It's not necessary, but I'm just adding this PNG file just to have a reference. And well, I'm gonna attach this to the email and I said, here's the file I want to attach. And then I press enter and now it's modifying the Python script that I gave before. So now it's telling me if I want to save the modified script to a file and I want to, um, to download this file. And I also want to show the code here. So I type that and I get a link with the new Py file. And also I got this uh, script or this code here on, on ChatGPT. And I can copy the code or I can download the Py file. So in this case, I'm gonna copy the code because I have a blank script ready just to paste it. And well, here I pasted all the code and it's basically my code that I provided with new lines of code. This is very important because ChatGPT is not building something from scratch, but it's taking an existing script that is working fine to add more code and new functionalities to our script. So here I'm gonna make some edits here. First, I'm gonna delete the, this part of the path. So I only have image.png, which by the way, this file is on my directory. And then I'm gonna run this script. And as you can see, I got this error message. So what I'm going to do is copy all this message and give it to ChatGPT to debug the code. So now I have a new script and I'm just going to copy and paste it. And I'm going to make some little modifications because as you might remember, now I only need image.png and well, I'm modifying the path. And now I'm going to run this script. And after running the script, we get this message of success and we go to our email to verify if the message was sent with attachment. In this case, I'm sending from Gmail to my private email. So here I'm on my private email. And as you can see, there is a new email that says, check out my new video. And here we can see the attachment and it's an image that PNG. And this is the image that was added on the attachment. And well, we did this with the Python code that ChatGPT provided. And now, well, I'm gonna close all of this and we're gonna start with a new task. But before we continue with this video, I'd like to take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Formation. All right, today we're seeing how to use ChatGPT to develop our scripts further. ChatGPT is able to do lots of things, but one of those things that isn't able to help us with is to land our dream job. And that's something that today's sponsor, Formation, can help you with. Being a software engineer is not easy. We're constantly striving to reach new heights and land those dream jobs at top tier companies. But sometimes, we hit roadblocks along the way. I know it because I've been there too. 
I remember the days when I was struggling to break into the tech industry, trying to secure a position at those fan companies. The competition was fierce, and I knew I needed something more to stand out from the crowd. I wish I knew about Formation back then. Formation is an adaptive learning fellowship for early mid-career engineers who want to take the next step in their career and land a role they love. One thing that sets Formation apart is their team of top-tier engineers from Meta, who have interviewed thousands of candidates and trained hundreds of interviewers. They know exactly what it takes to succeed in the industry and have created a program that adapts to you weekly to fit your needs. Through Formation, you'll gain the confidence you need to excel, build a strong foundation for success, and prepare for those intense interviews. And remember, they got your back until you land that signed offer letter. On average, those who complete the program increase their first year total compensation by $96,000. Just imagine what that could mean for your career and your future. If you're curious and want to know more about Formation, you can apply on their website through the link in the description below or sign up for the next info session where the recruiting team will answer any questions you have and explain in depth how the fellowship works. Don't forget to apply for the link in the description to take your first step towards your dream software engineering job. Thanks to Formation for sponsoring this video. So we go back to ChatGPT and here is the next task that we're going to do. So first I'm going to copy the previous prompt I provided and I'm going to paste it here and the prompt is going to be similar but the task is going to change. So instead of adding uh, sending an email with an attachment, what I'm going to do is connect to a CSV file that has information such as the receivers and the attachment that each receiver will get and we're going to send an email to each receiver in this CSV file. So here I'm typing the prompt connect to a CSV file that I'm going to upload here on ChatGPT and send the attachments to each email listed in the file. Finally, I'm going to make a last modification and here I'm going to type right now it only sends a plain email with an attachment. So I'm going to upload the script that it provided before and this script is send underscore email underscore attachment and this is the script that ChatGPT provided before. And well, I want to upload this pi file and also I'm going to upload the CSV file that we've seen before. So now there is the pi file and also the CSV file. Then we press enter and the code interpreter is going to edit our pi file based on the task that we indicated before. So now it gave me the link of the new pi file that it updated and well now I have this pi file and now I'm going to copy all this code into PyCharm. So here I have a blank uh, file and I pasted all this code and now I'm going to make some little modifications because as you might know ChatGPT doesn't get everything right and here the first thing I'm going to change is this import pandas that should be on top because it's a library we should put it on top and then I realized ChatGPT didn't remove some lines of code so here it duplicated this so it included the previous script and also included the new script so I'm going to comment this out. I could ask ChatGPT to fix this mistake, but I'm just going to do it myself. So here I'm going to comment out the lines of code that are duplicated. And then I comment out the email underscore receiver variable because we are using a for loop to send emails to multiple receivers and we're not sending to just one receiver anymore. So ChatGPT included this for loop to connect with the CSV file that we've seen before. Finally, here I'm adding this um, this line of code. I'm putting this inside uh, these two lines of code inside the for loop because ChatGPT didn't do it before, but it should be inside the for loop. And that's it. The code is ready. We run the code and we get this error. And that's because the path of the CSV file is incorrect. So I delete this, this part of the path that shouldn't be there. And now I get this message of success and I'm going to check my email to see if we got the email with the attachment. So here first we're going to see the, the CSV file and here um, we should get image one.png on this first email. So here I got the email and here is the subject, the body and well the attachment it says file name. So we have this weird name which shouldn't be there. It should be image one.png and if we go to the code we'll see that this mistake was because of this line of code. I could easily spot this mistake because I compared it with a, a script that I provided and I realized there were these double curly braces and well I removed these double curly braces and now I run the code 
And let's see if now we get that emails with the right attachments. So I go to one of the emails that are listed here in this CSV file. In this case, this second email that is publication at artificialcore.com. And well, here I have the email and I have image to that PNG. And this is the right attachment that we specify on the CSV file. Now I sign out and I log in on my first email and we should get here the same email, but with image one that PNG. And that's exactly what we got. So image one that PNG. And if you go to the CSV file, you can even add more rows to send to more emails or even add more columns to customize that email further. You can add different subjects and different content in the body and more. And well, in that case, you also have to follow the same steps that I did before to indicate ChatGPT the goal of your new task. And that's how you can add new functionality to your current script using ChatGPT. All right, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like me to do any other type of automation with ChatGPT. And I'll see you on the next video.